የሰማይ አብላቀ እግዚአብሔር ምስክር በእግዚአብሔር ፍጥ ነው ነግራት በአውሮፓ በአሜሪካና በአውሮፓ በተለያየ ምድር የመጨረሻው አመት ላይ ከዚህ ቀን ጀምሮ ነው ምንግራት ከዚህ ቀን ጀምሮ ሰባትን መቅሰፍት በእነሱ ላይ ያደርጋል ሰባት መቅሰፍት በእነሱ ላይ ያደርጋል ሰባት መቅሰፍት በእነሱ ላይ ያደርጋ ምድር ጫፍና ምድር ጫፍ ላይ የምታዩት ነው ምንግራት forcing thousands to abandon their homes እዚህ በልቡ እዚህ በልቡ ላይ ነው የሚያደርጋት For weeks, Cumbre Vieja has continued erupting, whilst hundreds of tremors have shaken the island. And rooftops began collapsing under the weight of ash. Now, as emergency services scrambled to evacuate thousands of families, ባላሰቡትና በልጠበቁት መንገድ አንደኛ የመጨመሪያ የሳት ቃጠሎ ይነሳባቸዋል ሁለተኛ ሳተ ጎመራ and awakens and a new mouth opens in the bow valley at no awakens and it's not the first time this happens near the end of the year at the moment the phenomenon that today has been recorded by the national institute of geophysics and volcanology edna observatory mainly concerns the opening of a new vent with a lava flow and a weak strombolian activity It all started in the afternoon around 16:30 and then manifested itself more clearly half an hour later with the images of the video surveillance cameras that showed the opening of the effusive mouth at the base of the western wall of the Valle del Bove at an altitude estimated between 2200 and 2100 meters above sea level. From there, as has been ascertained by the experts, a small lava flow was emitted. The crack, as explained by the ING recalls the eruptive phenomenon recorded in 2004 to 2005 even then without seismicity the etno observatory has in fact announced that from the seismic point of view the average amplitude of the volcanic tremor shows a modest increasing trend the phenomenon is however kept under constant observation sostanya yemeret menshratet aratanya kababad yihone yemeret menket A 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck offshore from South Africa on Saturday, according to the US Geological Survey (USGS). Frequently updated list and interactive map updates, links, and background info 100 km distance from the epicenter. That's the view of Professor Andrei Kijko, director at the University of Pretoria's Natural Hazard Center. The exact magnitude epicenter and depth of the quake might be revised within the next few hours or minutes as seismologists review data and refine their calculations or as other agencies issue their report seek reported a magnitude 4.2 quake in taiwan near the town of hengchen only 19 minutes ago the emperor has no clothes africa is a country 2380 the 12th of march 21 the cape town etc shortly after the rumbling The US Geological Survey, USGS, confirmed that it registered as a 3.5 magnitude earthquake. The CGS also assured the public that there was no imminent threat to the area, such as that caused by a tsunami. The intended name change of Cape Town International ያልተጠበቀ የፕሌን አደጋ ፕሌን ክራሽ ያደረጋባቸዋል 
Grave accidente aéreo reportado en el aeropuerto de Las Américas en República Dominicana. Un avión de la compañía privada Elidosa se habría accidentado esta tarde en el aeropuerto internacional de Las Américas sin que hasta el momento se conozcan detalles oficiales. Datos preliminares dan cuenta de que la aeronave habría salido del aeropuerto internacional La Isabela, El Higüero, hacia Estados Unidos. Sin embargo, al presentar problemas en el trayecto, se dirigió a la terminal aérea en Las Américas, donde supuestamente se precipitó. Aún se desconocen las condiciones del o los tripulantes. Sin embargo, hay imágenes y videos en las redes sociales donde se comenta que hay un total de nueve fallecidos. Miembros del Cuerpo de Socorros habrían acudido al lugar a ofrecer asistencia. Se espera que en adelante las autoridades ofrezcan más informaciones. Esta es una noticia en desarrollo. En un próximo video le brindamos más información. Parece que explotó un avión en la pista ahora mismo. Estamos aquí en el aeropuerto. Parece que ahora mismo explotó un avión en la pista. Aquí. O un avión o un tanque. Todavía no tengamos información de eso. No tengamos información de eso. De, un, de un, una explosión que hubo aquí en el, en el aeropuerto de las Américas. Ahora mismo hubo una explosión. No, eso fue un avión. Está en la misma pista. ¿Cómo va a ser la pista? ¿Está de aquellado? Un avión. ¿Se estrelló? Está Un avión. Hay mucha gente en el otro. Se distraña. Bemidrlay, kaba bara dega y fetar ba chwale ba bura dega. Sabata nya liyu liyu maksat na chwale fara yol ba chwale. Over 22,000 people were evacuated throughout Malaysia Sunday as the country faces some of its worst flooding in years. The tropical Southeast Asian nation often sees stormy monsoon seasons at the end of the year, with seasonal flooding regularly causing mass evacuations. Heavy downpours since Friday have caused rivers to overflow, submerging many urban areas, and cutting off major roads, stranding thousands of motorists. Almost 22,000 flood victims in eight states and territories were recorded on an official government website, with over 10,000 of them in the central state of Pahang. More than 5,000 people fled their homes in the country's richest state of Selangor, which surrounds the capital Kuala Lumpur, with Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob expressing surprise at the strong flooding there. Parts of New South Wales have been battered by a monster storm with waves of rain and hailstones hammering homes. An earlier tornado warning for western Sydney was downgraded by the Bureau of Meteorology. Storm and hail hit South Australia today, as well as gusts of up to 120 miles per hour. Ice and sleet flowed like rivers through the streets of Adelaide in a way that locals called it incredible crazy weather. Australia is at risk of tornadoes as thunderstorms sweep across the country, bringing floods, gigantic hail, dust storms and high winds. Urgent severe weather warnings have been issued for South Australia, Victoria and parts of New South Wales as dangerous storms build up overnight. Up to 6,000 homes were left without electricity, of which Adelaide Hills was among the worst affected areas and 2,500 families were left in the dark due to the devastating storm. The storms are expected to peak during the night, with a serious fire warning in South Australia as well. 
Authority warned of possible flooding in western and northern Victoria, as well as possible dust storms as strong winds from the hurricane rip off the dry topsoil. Today and tomorrow, nature is throwing a mixed reaction in southeast Australia due to heavy rain, storm winds, severe fire hazard and severe thunderstorms, said forecaster Jackson Brown. Elsewhere, hail covered the ground like snow. A spokesman for the state emergency service said she received more than 280 calls for help in a day, especially in homes with dormers. We really expect this number to grow steadily over the next few hours, especially as people come home from work, she said. This is the season of storms at this time, and this emphasizes the need to prepare people. We do see that these storms can happen quite quickly and they can be quite violent.